everyone! My name is Ashi Varana Fani and the topic for my speech today is Are humans to blame for climate change? A full 97% of climate scientists would say yes, but if you ask Indonesians, a massive 18% would say no. A new survey from YouGov and the University of Cambridge called the YouGov Cambridge Globalism Project reveals that of the 23 countries surveyed involving 25,325 respondents, Indonesia had the biggest percentage of climate deniers, followed by Saudi Arabia and the US. As a country that is very familiar with the impacts of climate change, the population of Indonesia, including the government, have relatively zero readiness to deal with it. Climate change, global warming, and carbon emissions are all considered insignificant in Indonesia. Why? Because the most important issue for most of the population in Indonesia is about religion. Today, you don't have to go to Antarctica to see the impacts of climate change. In Indonesia, since 2009, farmers have had difficulty relying on weather forecasts due to routine planting anomalies. In the end, harvest failure is one of the most common phenomenon that occurs in all parts of Indonesia. There have been no comprehensive studies that can account for losses due to crop failures throughout Indonesia. However, referring to the temporary part, the loss due to one harvest failure in East Java alone reached up to 3 trillion rupiah in 2011. Crop failure is only one of the many consequences. Understandably, Indonesia is one of the largest contributors of carbon emissions in the world. There are a handful of evidence of the impacts of climate change, but ironically, there are not a few Indonesians that do not believe that climate change are somehow caused by humans. So, what causes many Indonesians do not believe that humans are one of the main causes for climate change? First, people do not understand the concept of climate change or global warming. Second, the lack of education around environmental issues in school. Third, environmental issues are still immersed in public conversations that are struggling on dealing with religious issues. Fourth, respondents preferred issues such as racism and gender rather than the environment because they think that environmental issues are too political and easily politicized. So, are there any solutions? Of course there are! And what are those? First, young people must be invited to understand the consequences of climate change. For example, middle and high school in Indonesia seem to need to require their students to watch the latest documentary, which is uh, titled Our Planet, that airs on Netflix. In that documentary, it is clearly illustrated how hundreds or even millions of seals have to jostle around just to bask in a narrow chunk of ice. Second, there must be a policy of changing our consumption and production patterns so that our planet's situation improves. The main point of my speech is that humans really are one of the main causes of climate change. And it is really sad to know that many Indonesians do not even believe that climate change is real. I decided to bring up this topic because I think that we have to be educated about the situation of the earth because we live here and we have to take care of it. That is all that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!